Hello viewers and welcome to today's video. Today's video is about what equipment is required for home recording and this is for beginners. So if you already know these things then that's fine, you don't need to watch this video but if you are starting uh, in terms of making some home recordings whatever that might be, whether it's a vlog, whether you're recording your music, your guitar, your keyboard, your voice uh, I'm just going to show you what the basic equipment, uh, including hardware and software, is required. Okay, so let's start from the first thing, uh, which is which is the basic starting point, which is a computer. So here I've got my laptop, my yellow laptop, uh, and this is what I use for recording my music at home. So this is the first uh, and the most important thing because your computer uh, will actually register everything that you record and it will store that um, inside it. Okay, so then how do you get your sound into your computer? All right, so this is something that I really sort of struggled with to begin with because I didn't actually realize uh, that you need this uh, device. Uh, that transforms your analog sound into digital sound uh, that then enters your computer okay so this device uh, is actually called an audio interface so what I've got here this is actually what I'm using it's called an M Audio 8 track audio interface and the reason why it's called an 8-track is because it's essentially got 8 separate inputs in which you can record your sound. So it's got 2 inputs at the front and then it's got 6 inputs at the back. Okay, And the reason for this is because I actually have used this in a recording studio situation where I've recorded a real drummer uh, recording his entire drum kit. So I needed um, eight separate channels in order to do this. However, what's really important to keep in mind is that you don't necessarily need uh, as large an audio interface as I've got right here because you might just need a single input you know you might just be recording your voice for example for a vlog or for a podcast okay so you just might need a, a lot smaller unit than this uh, which uh, only comes with one input or maybe two inputs okay so from here in order to connect this is this audio interface that I've got uh, it's a USB audio interface and in order to connect it to the computer, you need a USB cable that looks like this. So that's it when it comes to connecting the audio interface into the computer. What you need also inside your computer is a door. Which, he, which actually stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Okay, so there's many of them on the market. You know, people use various products. Um, I actually use Acid Sony Music Studio. Um, I think actually this is now run by a company called Magix. Actually, it used to be Sony, but I think there's been some kind of uh, transfer, but it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, whichever door you are using, uh, they all sort of behave in a very similar way and I'm going to demonstrate what it actually looks like on the screen in a minute uh, but essentially in your door uh, will interact with your audio interface and the signal from whatever you're recording will enter your computer into your door and that way you can record and store your tracks okay so then depending on what it is that you're recording for example if you are recording your voice specifically you will need a microphone okay so this microphone here uh, that I've got is Shure SM7B 
which is like an industry standard microphone uh, used for voice recordings in, in many, many various applications. Uh, you can use various microphones um, and whatever works for your particular application. Now, in order to connect your microphone to your audio interface, to build that sort of what we call signal chain in, in the recording language, uh, you will need a cable. Okay? So the cable, which is used for recording, uh, uh, connecting a microphone, is actually called an XLR cable. Okay? And it looks like this. Uh, it's got sort of three holes at this side. And then it's got it's got three pins at the other end, and uh, and this is so basically you connect this to your audio interface at one end, and then you connect the other end to your microphone. Now, if you are recording an instrument uh, like a guitar you will need a different cable but obviously I'm sure that you will be familiar with what cable you use for connecting your guitar say to your amp because it's exactly the same cable that you will need a cable that looks like this uh, at both ends and essentially this particular audio interface I'm using here actually is also designed to be able to input an instrument directly into into an input so you can I either use an XLR cable for your voice recording but it's quite a versatile unit so you can also plug in your instrument directly into the audio interface so I'm just going to pull that away and last but not least in the in the whole signal chain or perhaps it's not not so much in the signal chain but it's something that you need to monitor what is actually going on and to hear clearly what you're doing is a pair of headphones okay i'm actually using a pre sonos uh, pair of headphones which are specifically studio designed headphones okay and uh, so this is it really. The only thing that I would like to add is if you are playing your guitar right, and you want to record your guitar, you can either directly plug your guitar into your audio interface or your bass guitar even, you can plug it directly into this audio interface and record it straight away like this. Or you can put another device in between your guitar and the audio interface. And that other device could be your amp it could be a pedal, it could be a wah-wah pedal, it could be any, anything really um, that you are using for your particular tone that you want to achieve. Um, and what's really good about having a digital audio workstation is that you don't actually require uh, so much hardware uh, as, as perhaps uh, people needed in the past because uh, a lot of processing is actually done post recording so in terms of your mixing of your instruments of your voice uh, you can use a lot of uh, plugins uh, to achieve whatever that is that you uh, desire uh, for your overall outcome and your sound to be so this is the first part of this video uh, and now i'm going to show you uh, what it actually looks like in practice. Now I'm inside my door. I'm in Sony Acid or even Acid Music Studio, I should say. And no matter, like I said to you before, no matter what type of door you are using, uh, what you will need to do in order to connect your audio interface with that door, you will need to find a place where your audio devices are. In my case, this is under Options and then Preferences. So if I click on Audio Device, I have already connected my M Audio through my USB cable, and it's already there. 
and also get other options. I'm going to stick to that, click apply and click OK. So I'm just going to qu quickly show you two things. So first of all, I'm going to insert two audio tracks. So when I insert these audio tracks, I, I will be able to recall through them. First and foremost, what I need to do, I need to assign these tracks to the inputs on my audio interface. So track number one, I'm going to use for my voice. And you can see that here my M audio is already recognized. And my microphone is actually plugged into channel three. And my track two will be for a bass guitar. And this bass guitar is plugged into input number two. Okay, so that should work for me. And if you are using the same door as me, uh, what you will need to do first and foremost in order for anything to record, you actually need to arm your tracks for recording. Okay, and now you can see that actually this is picking my voice and this green input, uh, this, this green uh, uh, light here shows you uh, it's recognizing on a meter that I'm actually talking to the microphone right now. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you what the difference is in my voice between a recording through my computer microphone versus the professional recording microphone. So in order to start recording you need to click a record button down here. So now I'm speaking through the show microphone that I showed you earlier and this is what my voice sounds like. Uh, I think that you will find it's a lot smoother it's got a lot, a lot more uh, like a kind of sort of radio or podcast uh, quality to it. And I've also got my uh, bass with me right now. So I'm just going to play a few, a few notes for you. So you can also see and hear uh, how this works. Okay, so this is how it works. So if you only just starting, uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if you have learned from it and you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for, to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.